Our beast. You are all good. It's zippy in tonight. You know what we mean, don't you, Carol? Right, um, the memes, do you like them? Pinch them, if you want to. All you got to do is screenshot them and crop them. If you don't know how to screenshot, Google it. How to screenshot on my phone. If you don't know what kind of phone you've got, can't help you. Sorry. Right. I ain't that political. I used to be a little bit when I was younger, not too much. This was before the penny dropped as to what my dad always says. They all piddle in the same pot. It's all theatre. Vote for one, vote for all of them. Um, but there's a local election going on. So I come in from work last night and I got this through me door. It's from the, the Lib Dems, but it could, could be from anybody, it doesn't really matter. Because they want your vote. You don't see them all through the year. When something kicks off and you ask for their help, they don't give a flying fig about the general public. And then when the election comes round, they're prepared to go around shoving this crap for you. Your letterbox, bloody fire hazard. Well, anyway, they um, we've had two years of gaslighting, of lies heaped on top of lies, manipulation, fiddling of figures. To what ends? To get everybody. On a subscription service so they can move it on to the next stage and it's one stage further to getting everybody on universal basic income and it's a type of social credit system as i keep saying so you would have thought with all this going on you know that, that even to even consider in 21st century britain the governments as even Raise the idea, let alone almost carrying it out, of slinging people out of work onto the dole and take your livelihood off you if you're well enough. An experimental chemical pumped into your body. This is, this is some if a science fiction writer, JG Ballard, wrote something like that, nobody believe it, so it's too far fetched, and yet we've had it. And everybody's slip through it, except a few and don't argue and try and say it's been about safety because you know full well it bloody hasn't the, the lies that they've come out with so you thought there had been a perfect opportunity here right for somebody to say Lishfield we know where you're feeling you have lost your business because of this and you are stupid, Lichfield. You can see around. You can actually see what's happening now. You're starting to ask the questions you day two years ago. You're starting to see what the figures actually are. And how they've been arrived at. And everything else. Lichfield, you're core even getting to see a GP these days. Is that what you want? Because we'll stand up for you. We'll ask the questions no bugger else wants to. The questions the mainstream media, what you buy every day and sit in front of, filling your head with. The questions they will ask, we'll do it. We'll do it. You'd, you'd have thought so, wouldn't you? But the actual fact, no. No. All these clowns and bothered about is there's a duck pond of the road here. And it hasn't been cleaned out regularly. So there's weeds in it. So that can sound about the, the wall the wall fell in the duck pond. After what we've gone through after two years. There's a building site just across the way. I'm constructing some new <coughs> new houses. It's important. But to these to these people. 
they are building they are building them fast enough the construction site's been given to them which any bloody surprise the way the, probably the company's been ruined that's building it over the last two years with people being meant to stop us on for no good reason i mean it really and suppliers and all that nonsense but to these oh, it, it isn't being built quick enough we will we'll be on the case yeah I can't get me head round it. <laughs> but you know why, don't you? Paul Weller observed in going underground. The public wants what the public gets. I had that right, Phil. So them, them catering and pandering to this loss. Who don't give us stuff. The fact that they've nearly thrown the country away, and it's still going on around the world. They're still trying it on where they can get away with it currently. They are dropped it in other places. They're being forced to where they have. And why we've narrowly escaped in this country being dragged into this socialist hell. Your people at Litchfield, I bothered. Pretend it's I happy. Be concerned about the bloody duck pond. Unreal. Alright then. For tonight. God bless.